Hey, hey, what's up, social media family? Hope everybody's having a really, really good day. I want to talk to you about something that is going to help you. It's going to help you process a lot of stuff. It's going to help you understand why there are some people in life that you may not understand why they don't understand things. And then also it may help you if you have any problems in the way that you view things okay now in life every single one of us have been delusional and in some way or another okay you've been delusional so just uh, admit it there's different things in in all of our lives when when we viewed something and it wasn't the actual way that it was done it wasn't an actual fact or truth the way that we saw something it may have been when you were a kid and the way adults did something you didn't understand it, it may have been because your brain doesn't fully develop to your 25 or whatever it may be now a lot of times this happens in businesses when you got the owner of the company the president the the ceo and the employees don't understand why they think well they're not in their position you see a lot of times different people in churches with different denominations. You have different people who view things differently. It could be once saved, always saved. It could be the, the Holy Spirit. It may be signs, wonders, and miracles, whatever. People are delusional, okay? The word delusional means some like someone who is characterized by holding false beliefs. People are delusional because they are holding false beliefs. I was talking to a gentleman one time, and he was believing in this stock. This stock has been dead for 15 years. But he was delusional in thinking the stock was going to come back to life when the company had done everything but completely closed. I mean, they, it was just dead. The bit, the whole company was dead, but he had bought it when it was in the heyday and now he was just holding on to it and it still hasn't done anything. Uh, a lot of people in the church world are very delusional, okay, because they are holding on to a false belief in what the Bible is really about. There's a lot of people, listen, I'm telling you, the majority of churches in the world, they do not believe the Word of God. They do not believe the Word of God in its entirety. They don't understand. Here's what happens. A lot of people paraphrase the Bible. They don't actually understand the full ramification of the Bible. They don't understand the power of the Holy Spirit. They don't understand the, the one of the main things that I don't understand is people are so delusional when it comes to how much authority that we carry by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay? Jesus said that the Father gave me power and authority over all scorpions and serpents and demons and sickness and disease. And I give you that authority. But people don't, don't walk in it. People don't. They're delusional. They, have, they are holding. They're hanging on to it. They're holding a false belief that the power is not for today. A lot of churches are governed by a pastor and a board. The Bible clearly states that the church is set up, ran by the foundation with Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone, the teachings of the apostles, and the words given by the prophets. If your church does not have an apostle and a prophet coming in on a regular basis or in the house, your church isn't biblically aligned properly so your church in a sense in a degree is delusional a lot of people do not understand finances 
if I ask you, what were the main things that Jesus talked about? What were the main things Jesus talked about? He talked about the kingdom of God. Most churches don't teach on the kingdom. He talked a lot about finances. A lot of churches don't talk about finances. Talked about demons and cast out demons. A lot of churches don't talk about demons. So people in the church are delusional because they're not preaching and teaching the very things that Jesus taught them. There's so many people that they are delusional believing in things that are never going to actually come to pass. I stand on the Word of God because it is the absolute truth. There's some people that I know that I, they were talking to me about some things the other day, and I said, hey, you just got your mindset wrong, and you are living in a state of delusion, and you don't want to see the truth, and what you're believing for is never going to come to pass. And they are hanging on to their belief and their life is getting worse and worse and worse. Okay? Um, <coughs> excuse me. That's how a lot it is. I know so many people that I've known for years that they are delusional in the way that they view Christ. They are delusional in the way that they live their life according to the Word of God, but they're frustrated because they're not getting the results in life they think they should get. But they don't believe in the supernatural. They don't believe in abundance. They don't believe in the kingdom. They don't believe in different things. They believe that you could be a Christian and you could, you know, they got their opinions and it's anti-biblical. They're delusional in, in their belief. There are, are people, there are people that they don't take care of what they're supposed to take care of in life and they just think things are going to work out perfectly. It's, uh, it's doesn't work like that. <laughs> it's a funny story, but... I used, to, I used to play traveling softball and, and loved playing softball back when I was younger. We had a traveling softball team, and we had a really good team. And we went to play this tournament. A bunch of young guys walked up, and, boy, they were arrogant. They were cocky. Never seen them before. And one of them was like, bro, man, we're, we're going to we're gonna tear y'all. We're going to smoke y'all. We're, we're going to embarrass y'all. We're going to do all this stuff. And I remember one of the – my friend was like, do y'all ever play softball? Like, oh, bro, we were all like all-state baseball. We were this, we were that. And we were like, it's softball and baseball is a different sport. And when my friend said, guys, y'all are delusional. Like, y'all are delusional if you think y'all are going to beat us. They said, we're going to embarrass y'all. Well, we beat them 43-3 to three in three innings, okay? They were delusional. Okay, you, you you see people who don't work out and they walk in a gym and they just think they're going to go in there and just work out with people that work out all the time. They're, they're delusional. Okay, I'm just giving you some natural references. There are people, I'll tell you what's really sad. There's a lot of people that think God is about to rescue them out of everything, yet They've done nothing to position themselves. They haven't done what he's... I remember I was talking to this person one time. They were about to lose everything they had. And they did lose everything. God's going to rescue me. God would never let me lose my house and lose my cars and lose all this stuff. I said, uh, did the... You told me you bought that house and these cars and all this stuff. And you, you you told me God didn't tell you to do it. You quit your job. You told me God did not tell you to quit your job. You're not working. What do you think? Do you, I mean, even when you work, did you tithe in your church? Nope. Did you give offering? Nope. Did you sow anywhere? Nope. 
you're delusional. You're about to lose every single thing you got. God would never let me. I said, God's not, he ain't got anything to do with this. You bought a house. You bought these new cars. You quit your job. You don't give anything. You have no seed in the ground. How do you expect a harvest? He lost it all. Delusional. Somebody came in and he's a minister in our region and sat down. He said, Joe, why are you and your wife so happy all the time? Why are your kids so happy? Why do y'all, why do y'all, how do y'all thrive in everything that you do? And I told him, I'm not delusional. I'm not holding on to false beliefs. My life is aligned with the word of God. I'm a man on fire. My buddy Eric from Kingdustry just created this cap. Love these caps. Actually, the link's below for Kingdustry. I love wearing caps like this because they're conversation starters. People say, what's, what's, what's a man on fire? And I say, man, I'm on fire for God. And so our life is blessed. I pray big. But I'm not delusional. I know what the Bible says. I don't try to bend the rules. I don't try to manipulate the word of God. I know what the Bible says about having a covenant with God. I know what the Bible says when it talks about mentors. I know what the Bible says when it talks about finances. I know what the Bible says about raising kids. I know what the Bible says about being married. I know what the Bible says about business. I know what the Bible says about ministry. I align my life with that. You know, people that are delusional are hanging on to false beliefs, a belief system that is not a reality. And if you believe a false reality, you are going to get a result that is not the truth. And that's just, that's just how it is. And there's so many people that want to live a delusional life. If you don't believe me, I will explain it to you. People say all the time to me, I'm going to be a multimillionaire. I'm going to be a multimillionaire. How much money do you make an hour? $25 an hour. You ain't going to get there. You ain't going to get there. No way. $50 an hour. You ain't going to get there. You're going to have to find a way to invest. You're going to have to find now you can invest and do different things. You'll get there a long time from now. But, you know, a lot of people, like, <laughs> somebody tell me one time, I'm going to leave all my kids, you know, when I die over a million dollars. Do you have any life insurance policies? No. Do you own any land? No. Do you have any businesses? No. How much do you have in the bank? It was like under 20000 Do you have any savings? No. Sir, you're 65 years old. That's a delusion, Okay. People, here's the biggest delusion of all. Y'all ready? The biggest delusion of all. People that go to a church that doesn't allow the Holy Spirit to move, they, they go to churches that don't believe in signs, wonders, and miracles. They go to a church where, where they don't allow the Holy Spirit to flow properly. They're not going to be able to walk in the fullness of all that God has for them. Because they're aligned with the church that does not move and operate according to the Bible. Read how the church was established. The church was established in the upper room of prayer with unity, waiting on the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay? And so a lot of people walk in a delusion in life and they just don't get it. I see it all the time. I had somebody I was doing a Zoom with recently and they were mad and frustrated about life. And I, I kindly, I said, there's no way your life's going to work out the way you think. Like with your thought pattern, there's no way, no way you will get the result in life you're wanting with the way that you think. You're delusional. What is del when someone's delusional, they're tired, they're weary, and they don't make, they don't, they don't have good thoughts. Therefore, they don't produce good actions. They 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 think wrong, they pray wrong, 
I've heard people tell me what they want. I hear how they pray, and I'm like, you're delusional in your prayers. When you get your thought life right, when you get your thought patterns aligned with the Word of God correct, when you got apostolic prophetic people pouring into your life, understanding the kingdom mindset, live a life of fasting and prayer, you will not be delusional. You need to have a clear, clear mind. I had a younger pastor works at a very big church, came and sat down with me, full of anxiety. He said, our church is so delusional. And I said, okay. He said, no, we're de they're delusional. They think we're going to get all the promises of God, and there's not a lot of God in our church. Our church is like a country club. I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> he says, they don't let the Holy Spirit move. They govern out of fear. They govern out of anxiety. Our pastor's on depression medicine and anxiety medicine. He, he said, I, I, I just, our whole existence is a delusion. I said, I know. And the people that are there are walking in the exact same thing. They don't have a reality of the kingdom of God. If you're working for a company and you don't know the mission of the company, you don't know the heart of the company, you don't know why you do what you do in the company, you won't have a full understanding of why they're asking you to do what they're asking you to do. The most successful people I see in life are the ones that know who they are, know who they are in God, and they know what their mission in life is, and they, it's clear. They have clarity, and they're doing it. Okay? That's what it's about. I hope this helped. I wanted to explain this. I was talking to one of my buddies the other day, and he brought up the word. Right before I shot this, he brought up the word delusion. I was, um, I had it written down to do it. Then I heard um, some prophetic people speaking about it. I'm like, wow, this word is coming up to so many people. A lot of people are, are like, I don't understand why this person does this. I don't know why they do that. I don't understand why. If your mind is right, theirs may be off. But a lot of times you got to ask the big question, am I in delusion and are they doing it right? Um, and so like, like, like people don't understand generations a lot of times. A lot of times people don't understand um, when, when they're from different ethnic backgrounds. People don't understand why denominations do this. Why why the Church of Christ not have instruments? Why are the Pentecostals wild as can be with their instruments? You know, differences. Don't be in a delusion. Know what God is doing. Know what God is saying. And watch how he moves. Okay? Hey, I hope this helped you. If you need prayer, go to the website, jojodawson.net. Go to the contact button. Hit the button. Send me a prayer request. I would absolutely love to pray for you. And hope you'll have a super, super blessed day.